Alright, in this video we are going to look into uh, Markdown inside Emacs. Okay, so this is going to be a, some sort of introductory stuff on how to use Markdown inside Emacs. Okay, so without further ado, let me get into Emacs and if I open a file where my notes are and let me open a file say this is a <coughs> markdown file right simply and uh, you I am assuming you have already installed the markdown package inside Emacs to invoke the markdown mode which I did okay so it sends that I have already opened a markdown file okay so now if I wanted to see the preview of this markdown file in a browser all I have to do control C control C and P it will pop up a browser and show me the uh, show me the output of it okay so you can see uh, I just press control C control C and P to get preview of whatever the markdown I have on the left frame it pops up a browser and show me the output of it okay so for instance uh, if you want to make something bold say for this letter Lex okay I want to make it bold I put my it's a bold at point okay so all I have to do control C control S and B and if I save this file and if I do again control C control C P you should see the letter Lex in bold on the browser see you can see right the word legs is getting bold while showing it on the browser right cool now uh, for instance like this is a code block right which I have uh, because I created this file initially in some other means and so I entered it by hand like this. to enter a say for instance you want to make something looks like a code right so all you have to do say on this these things just do control C control S and C sorry I made a mistake uh, all I have to do mark it and do control C control S and C so the entire things get coded to output as a code section inside markdown so if I again save this file and do control C control C P it will open up the browser and show that particular line so see you can see this line right this line I have this is a if it is a one line that's why you probably not able to distinguish it from the other text but if you look closely and if you look at the top of this the code section which is similar formatting similar way it is showing 
because these texts are quoted inside Markdown to represent as a quote section. That's why I press Ctrl C, Ctrl S and C which will turn into a selected section into a quote formatting section inside Markdown. Am I clear? If you select particular section of the file which is having a code, then once you select that particular section, all you have to do, Control C, Control S and the letter C, which will turn those selected region or text into a code section. That means in the output it should look like a code section which is what I did and you are seeing it where, where I'm highlighting. Okay? All right. So, now, um, so if you, if you want to see what are the markdown brings inside Emacs, just go to the MX prompt and I just wrote markdown and see there are 152 options which certainly I'm not going to cover but I'm showing it if you are living with markdown and you frequently write stuff in a markdown and publish essentially you are sitting inside the max then you probably look out this option because this option will get etched into your memory if you start doing it for a frequent basis which I don't do okay as frequently as I, I, I should okay so it will be super helpful if you, if you can do all this stuff right so there are shortcut to those functions so I highly encourage you to go through it and try it yourself to get a feel for it all I'm trying to say to show you that you could do the markdown writing right inside Emacs and get it displayed on your uh, targeted browser okay and so you can bold it you can as I as I shown to you right these things are there this you might be thinking there are so many keystroke but it should not be a problem once you try two three times this keystroke will come automatically to you so you'll forget that how many keystroke you are have you have to press to get things done right it will act as a reflex thing you don't have to trace enough in your brain to do all this kind of stuff right so you can insert him like everything else you do in markdown you can do all this stuff just bring up the mx prompt and write markdown you will be presented with this many option to various things okay so even if you don't want to take advantage of the outside browser you can do so inside emacs which will pop up the markdown page as HTML inside EWW inside Emacs I don't think that will be a good option to see the markdown effect on EWW it's a great browser don't get me wrong but it has got some sort of limitation okay so it you will better off for doing fall for something something more more explicit to show your markdown in real time or in real world so I'm certainly not going to cover all this stuff but you can you can 
you can look down all this stuff precisely it's showing me 152 different option okay so so one of the thing you might do control c control c and bar see it, it open up a simple table kind of stuff inside it see Likewise, and I believe I was supposed to show you something and I completely forgot what I supposed to show you because I, I haven't practiced enough because when I write markdown, I just write markdown and do the request basic stuff. I don't do, I don't go too deep into it because it is not required for me. Whatever, uh, the case will be quite different to you. Your whole and sole purpose is to do everything inside markdown. That's why I'm showing it to you that this many options are there. So you can tap it and exploit it while you are you are doing stuff in in markdown inside emacs okay i just show you uh, just uh, a glimpse of it that what you can do with with it it is there all you have to do you have to install the markdown and make it such in your dot emacs file so once emacs start once you open a markdown file it will sense and put you in a markdown mode so you don't have to do it manually okay so for instance if you wanted to see about the markdown mode info there is an option to if i press enter it will pop up a browser and take me to the to from where they have uh, taken the taken the markdown information which basically included in that package this is the place where where they get all this markdown stuff okay so if you if you run markdown info so it will land you to this web page and provide you all the information you needed which is what included in the markdown package if you installed okay and the command I ran markdown mode info that is the command which will take you to that particular website okay so let me show you how you can see it with eww control c control c l c on the right hand side buffer you can see how your markdown file looks like inside EWW, the default Emacs browser inside Emacs. So you don't have to go uh, to uh, to deflate it on the on the external browser. So you can you can see your markdown stuff right inside Emacs with the help of EWW browser. Okay. But as I mentioned, you probably better off doing showing your markdown stuff in a full featured browser, whatever your choice, like I have shown you before in this video. Okay, so this is what I'm showing that if you're reluctant to go outside and wanted to do things inside Emacs about markdown, you could do so. There is an option. To see it inside Emacs without living in it. All you have to do on the markdown file, just write Control C, Control C L, which will pop up the EWW browser and show your markdown file 
output it is as simple as that all right let me see if i can find out anything more to show you i'm sure you could do much better than what i'm doing it here but uh, all i'm trying to do i'm trying to give you some sort of introduction who is not aware of it whoever is aware of it is become probably redundant or trivial but that's not my look up that's not what i'm targeting at i'm targeting at people who who might be want to do something with the markdown in sitting inside emacs this is for them okay so here i don't know what else i should show you because Uh, let's not bloat or overwhelm you with uh, many options it is showing here okay so again I'm saying if you are doing lots of stuff uh, in markdown and your editor is Emacs and you want to see it inside Emacs you could do so with the markdown mode inside Emacs without going out of it you can see the output with the help of your choice of browser from outside of emacs or you could do it inside emacs with the default emacs browser okay so i hope this will bring generate some sort of interest to you people who are dealt with markdown day-to-day -day basis and who are not familiar they'll come to know about it okay so thanks for watching